And hi, everybody, once again. Yes, from the Coliseum in L.A., we bring you game number three of the 1959 World Series. I know it's all been done before. I know it can't hurt your world no more. Please just let me be. Vindication. Baseball has been my best friend for as long as I can remember. I love baseball just like thousands of boys my age. And if you would have asked me what I want to be when I grow up, I'd tell you, I want to pitch for the Dodgers. My father gave me baseball just as his father had given it to him, as if it was the last meal I'd ever have. I don't recall him doing anything else with me, really. No homework. No life lessons, and really no love unless it came from baseball. In 1988, I was 16 years old, and I was being scouted by the Dodgers. That same year, the Dodgers won the World Series, and my father dropped dead, happy, just one day after. The very next year, in the final game of my senior year, I tore a ligament in my elbow, and my dreams of becoming a professional ball player were over. I was lost. Three and two to count. Trying to get Jim Landis to chase the high pass. Full count. Nelson walks off first. Don Coverage says something to him. Nelly will be off and running. Two outs, three and two on the batter. Ninth inning. There goes the runner. The pitch swing on him. Hey, what's up, Squirt? Hey, Dad. How you been? Pretty good. Hey, the Dodgers look like they're going to make a real run at the World Series this year. I'm getting excited to think you could be drafted soon. Yeah. How cool would that be? Cool. So how are your grades? It's not too bad, you know? Mostly C's and B's. But, uh... I got an A and... That's and great. You can't give him any more reason to screw us over again. It wasn't my grades that was the problem. I, I was cut the last two years. Hey, it ain't because you weren't good enough. It's because of the retards you've been hanging out with. bucks for this winter baseball camp starting next week. 
Who could have a shot at making the baseball team? I thought you just said you were over it. Where are we going? Well, let's not waste any more time talking about it. Let's go play some ball. I don't know, Dad. Can we just see a movie? I got some gear in the back already. We're gonna play a little game. If you can get for the cycle off me right now, I'll give you $250. That's half the money you need for camp. The cycle. So if I can't hit a single, a double, a triple, and a home run, then, then I can't go to camp? I'm too rusty, I'll never do it. We you quit your whining? Let's go. So how does this work? All right, check this out. If you can hit a line drive, into the outfield without hitting the infield dirt, that's a hit. I'll give you $25 for every base you get before you get three outs. It's an out if you strike out, and it's an out if you hit into the infield dirt. What do you say? Look, if you can hit it in order, if you can hit a natural cycle, I'll give you that whole $500, all the money you need for camp. That's a whole week's pay for me. What do you say? Okay. All right, let's do it. Need help over the fence? To you? Nope. Okay. Let me just get a few practice swings in. Sure. All right, you ready? Oh. Are you sure you want to do this? Your elbow is going to be hurting for days. It always does. I'll be fine when this pill kicks in. Just worry about swinging that bat. All right, I'm ready. Remember, just keep your chin down, keep your elbow up, and swing through the ball, and don't open your hips too soon. I know. Strike one. It looks like you're trying to kill it. If only I could. What's that? I said, give me something good. Here it comes. There you go, that's a single. Nice hit. I'm taking drama as an elective at school. It's my favorite class. In my school, only fruitcakes took drama. Hey, but I bet you meet some girls with some real daddy issues, huh? It's, it's not like that. I'm learning how to be me. You do still like girls, don't you? It's a double. You're still a good hitter. I don't have a problem with you Taking acting, I just figure you're better off hanging out with athletes instead of oversensitive drama queens. Most of the dumb jocks get wasted on the fields after games and give each other atomic sit-ups. They don't want to hang out with me because I don't have a car. They're a bunch of assholes. You'll be right back in there with the guys as soon as you make the team again. And why don't you get a real job, save up for a car? I could talk to a guy I know in San Diego Get you a job working with the drywall crew. I'll just try to fit that in with baseball and school. 
I had a construction job in high school. That's an out. I don't want to get stuck doing construction like you. And that's exactly why you need a major league contract. Major league contract? I'm busting tables. That pays for clothes and food. I want to act, Dad. I know you think you want that now, but look how many things you've started and stopped in the last few years. Drums, guitar, jujitsu. What about your baseball card collection? I know, I'm such a failure. Not at baseball. That's what we were born to do. Pay attention to what you're doing, all right? There's your triple. Nice hit. That's 150. All you have left to hit this home run. You're trying to tell me not to give up? You gave up on me and mom. If you would have been around, maybe I might have not been cut from the baseball team the last two years. Watch your mouth. Your mother drove me nuts. You need to stop feeling sorry for yourself. I'm trying to help you make your dreams come true. Baseball hasn't been my dream since I was 12 years old. Don't lie to me. Guess what? Now this home run is double or nothing. Hey, that's not fair. Life isn't fair. Look what happened to my elbow. Fine. I'm going to hit a home run, but I want to act. And I'm not going to baseball camp. I'm going to take the money, and I'm going to go to acting school. I don't want you getting cut again. You're going to that camp. Guess what? I made the baseball team. They wanted me. And I told them I'd never want to play baseball again. What? You lied to me? Are you serious? Get this. Okay, come on now. Give me the right kind of pitch this time. I'm tired of chasing these bitches in the dirt. Yes, sir. Get one and hit my glove with it. Concentrate what you're doing. That's it. What, you're gonna whine about your elbow? You don't know how it feels. I don't care how it feels, get a pitch right. See this ball? My Larry Sherry, 59 World Series ball. You hit the dirt with this, I'm gonna beat your ass, boy. Kick that elbow, suck it up, and give me a pitch. Concentrate this time, boy. I'll beat your ass. Hit it. Hit this bucket. Good pitch, son. It's about time you got it right. Let's go home. Are you okay? Hey, I'm sorry. Are you all right? Hey, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. I'm, 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 oh, I'm, I'm fine. No. Just that, forget about it. You can do it, Ollie. I hate my life. Don't say that. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't mean to hit you. Come on, I'll give you one right down the middle. You okay? No, you're right. Acting isn't gonna go anywhere. Just keep your money. Hey, Ollie. I'm proud of you for trying new things. I would never have the guts to get up there and act. Or are you going to prove that you're better than me if you just give up now? Come on, son. Don't give up. You do have to be brave. I like it. It makes me feel good. I'm sure you're good at it. My dad never made me feel like I was good enough for anything. And I thought I was doing something different with you. 
thought I was sharing something I love with you. I love baseball. It just seems like you want me to make your dreams come true. Yeah, my dreams come true. You know, growing up, I actually wanted to be a writer. I used to write short stories and poems. I wrote this story called Dream Blue about a boy who could fly and <laughs> my dad found it underneath my bed. He brought it to the dinner table that night and just made fun of it, ripped it apart in front of everybody. I was humiliated. <laughs> and I never wrote again. I've never even told that to anybody before. Sorry, Ollie. Come on, just, just come out here and fight for this. I'm, I'm ready. All right. <laughs> Let's do it. Hey, what better way to express yourself than hitting one out of the park off your old dad, eh? I'm just tired of worrying about what everybody wants from me out of life. Mom wants me to go to college. You want me to do this. All I want to do is act. This one's for you, son. I thought sharing my dreams with my son was being a loving father. But I realize now that loving my son is something completely different. Loving my son starts with loving myself.